not filthy rich in milking every single player. There is a game studio that made a really cool game. Hopefully this doesn't age like old milk, but I'm excited for the future. Oh brother, this guy stinks! Boy, that sure did not age well. I didn't expect to drop my review and have BSG immediately shoot themselves in the foot. I thought at the very least I'd have a month before they did something dumb, but here we are. If you didn't know already, BSG has released a new expensive version of Escape from Tarkov. It's called the Unheard Edition, and it costs 250 euros. We're talking double the cost of VOD before it was retired by BSG. We're talking $268 in USD, $366 in Canadian, and I was too lazy to convert the rest, I'm sorry. But this is the last straw for me. I've got over 8,000 hours in the game, and I'm throwing in the towel. Normally I just ignore and not purchase pay to win but this kind of felt different. It felt like the company that I loved gut punched me. It's a slippery slope. How long do you think it'll be until they add the kill track suit as a microtransaction? BSG is showing you more and more that they're not scared to make you pay. The game is still in beta, and they have an edition of the game that costs way more than it actually should. EOD was supposed to be the end-all be-all of Escape from Tarkov, an edition of the game that you felt proud to own because you helped fund the game. And it feels like they've rug-pulled. You're supposed to get all the future DLC with EOD, and now they're not even including the new PvE mode, exclusive to the Unheard Edition. This has gotten out of hand and I'm done. I'm sick and tired of companies reaching their grubby little hands in my pockets and trying to pull out more from me. I don't support greedy companies and this is this is how Overwatch players must have felt when Blizzard started to change for the worst. Game companies have been doing this thing called whaling and BSG is just following a trend that Riot has started and in all honesty I never expected BSG to act like this. Still a good game, don't get me wrong, but BSG needs to learn how to read a room. Everything is inflated in what feels like most countries and the standard of living is going down. What makes you think we'll want to pay for an addition that costs nearly as much as a month's worth of groceries? But that's just my opinion on it. That's all for now and I hope to see you in the next one. If you found this video helpful in any way, shape, or form, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment on the video. I'd love to hear your opinions on this. My name is Limbo City TV and thanks for tuning in.